we're going to find the sum of the series. We have log base 3 uh, times the quantity of the sum from k equals 1 to 99 of 1 divided by square root of k plus square root of k plus 1. Um, since we have this log base 3 thing, what we're going to do is uh, simplify by rationalizing this denominator. So basically what I'm going to do is take log base 3 and then we have the sum from k equals 1 to 99 and I'm going to take my denominator square root of k plus square root of k plus 1 and multiply it by the conjugate which is uh, square root of k minus square root of k plus 1. If I multiply the denominator by this I also have to multiply the numerator which is just 1 so the numerator is just going to be square root of k minus square root of k plus 1. Now our denominator uh, this is the form of a plus b times a minus b. This equals a squared minus b squared. Should be a parenthesis there. So basically, you're going to square um, uh, the uh, square root of k squared minus uh, square root of k plus one squared. That's just going to give you k minus k. Um, minus 1. So the denominator is uh, negative 1. And I'm distributing the negative here because these cancel out but you have to distribute the negative. So the k's go away you have negative 1. And just looking at my numerator that means I have negative 1 times square root of k minus square root of k plus 1. Right because this is going to this whole thing down here is just going to be negative 1. So basically I can write this as the log of 3 times the sum of k equals 1 to 99 and just flip those around. So that's going to be square root of k plus 1 minus square root of k. And then we're going to write out some terms and see the pattern. So we have, again, let me write this really fast log base 3 and we have the sum from k equals 1 to 99 of square, square root of k plus 1 minus square root of k. Alright, now we're starting at 1 so we're going to have log base 3 alright and then uh, at k equals 1 you're going to have square root of 2 minus square root of 1. We have to do at least three terms to see what kind of pattern is because this is a telescope series. So then we're going to have for k equals 2 square root of 3 minus square root of 2. And then for k equals 3 we have square root of 4 minus square root of 3 plus dot 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 plus um, let's use the last term 99 and that's going to be um, square root of 100 minus square root of 99. All right, let's see what we can cancel out. Um, let's see. Uh, this should be all like that. Okay, so this is in front. What's canceling out, it looks like, is this first term with this last term. All right, and then we're going to have this first term with this last term. And then um, we'll have this first term with some last term here, and this first term with this last term. And this is what this is the part we get a little confused about, but if you look at the pattern um, and uh, see the pattern, what you're crossing out uh, to collapse the series just like you would a telescope it's easier to find this last part. So basically what we have is log base 3 we have the square root of 100 and then we have this minus 1. Alright this is going to be log base 3 this is just 10 so this is going to be 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. I can write this as log base 3 of 3 squared 
bring this two in front here. So this is going to equal two times log base three of three. And log base three of three is just one. So your final sum of the series is equals to two. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.